Yes, I got it. Dade County Sheriff Department. Oh, you got one? Okay. Could you turn this way for the same thing? Oh, yeah. Steven Seagal. I did this movie that's called Out for Justice that's on HBO right now. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a long shoot. We shot in Brooklyn, so I got to go back home for a little while. Uh, shot in like Bensonhurst, Bay Ridge, Diker Heights, all through that area. And I know that I have cousins there. Uh, I, I was never raised there, but I mean, that's... Uh, it was a lot of fun. Steven's a great guy. Uh, he's very strong. There's a scene where where I get my legs shot off at the end of the film. And it, oh, that, I mean, it got a lot bloodier than that. See, because what happened in the original cut, <clears throat> what happened in the original cut was, uh, he blows my leg off, and then he runs around the other side of the house, and he grabs Sonny, and he pulls him through the window and all that, and then he beats him up and kills him, kicks him once and kills him or something. And then he comes in the house, and like, I'm like grabbing this bloody stump and this blood flying all over the room, and then I go to like attack him, and then he, he picks me up and throws me down a set of stairs with one leg with blood pumping out of my stump. It really is. And then Billy Forsythe, who's in the bathroom, as I'm flying down the stairs, Billy Forsythe shoots through the door and like sh shoots me six times this way. And I guess the people who rape for the who the, the Motion Picture Association of America said, no, no. The leg's enough, thank you. We don't need to see his intestines all over the walls. We get the idea that he's dead. But you, had, you had to go through all of that? It was actually filmed. Yeah, I did my own thing. Because Stephen, Stephen said, you know, we can shoot this from the back and we can use a stuntman. You know, we can just shoot this from my back and use a stuntman. He said, but this is going to look great. So he said, will you, will you do it? And of course I said, yeah, but you know, you gotta give me some pads. Pads. <laughs> they let me pad. I look like the Michelin man. <laughs> okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> you know, I was uh, I I'm a very fan and I just watch videos, so I feel like I've seen everything. It's just a comment. I know you know the old film you probably saw at the beginning of the beginning of the friendship film that was just finished. No, I didn't see this. Oh. <laughs> Is this that Sally Newman as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right right on the bottom. I'll find it. The corner. In the corner. A nice silhouette shot. Oh. On the black corner. This kind of thing? Yeah. Right. I get it. Why don't you just like staple my head to the bottom? Spit all over the microphone. That happens sometimes. It comes with age. Hi, go ahead. Will it be shown in during the summer or Is there any possibility of what being shown? The pilot that you filmed. Oh no, you know, see what happened with the pilot with the presentation was we got permission from who who produces Batman? Is that Cooper Peters? I, I don't know. We, we got permission from whoever produces that movie to use their sets with the understanding it could never be aired. It could never be aired. So, because, you know, we, we paid really nothing to use it. They did it more or less as a favor. And then we were going to build our own sets in Brisbane and that kind of thing. But we didn't win out in Brisbane. Last question. Oh, there's two. There's two. Okay. Hi. Go ahead. Yes. Well, I don't know that it was...
Ms. Riley, that she heard this morning that there was a rumor that the, that the, the role of Joe Maxwell was originally written for a black man. I don't know that it was written for a black man. Right. right. There you are. I, I don't know that it was written for a black man, but uh, uh, a black man was offered the role originally. Yafet Koto was, was offered the role originally. And thank God he said no.